Can you describe a bit what it was like back in the Middle West in the 30s? Yes, I could describe it very well, I think. I was farming, and we had about five dry years in success. And uh, we had depression with it, and I lost everything I had through the drought and depression. I had no other choice. I had to get out and go somewhere to make a living for my family. So the boy was out here, and I, he said it was better here. So we just done away with what little we had and loaded up what we could bring and headed this way. We had a lot of trouble getting here, but we broke in San Diego and party in Compton, California. They put tires on my car, and we made it on up here. Got here the sixth day of September. The 35 cents. And uh, there's a, two men that run a little grocery store down on the corner there in a little, very small place. He sold me a bill of groceries the evening I got here on, without any, just sold them on the credit tip. And I went down in the south of town and got me a job and went to work the next day after I got here. And uh, the man I went to work for, he allowed me to work my family, let them work with me, my children, for two weeks. And we made from 8 to $12 a day, all of us. And pretty soon we was eating, getting along pretty good. We, we thought we was getting along real good. How, maybe Mrs. Quills could describe how, how you lived in those days. What the... Well, <laughs> we lived very close. We got here, almost as he said, the sixth day of September, and we... Well, we, what were your living accommodations like? I mean, when we first come here, yes, when you first well, came here. our when first you our first uh, home here was a one room house. Uh, we had a oil cook stove that he had bought up here, and uh, I brought our bedding, what we could, one bedstead from the east with us. We worked in the field during the day, and uh, we came in in the evening. We, like he said, after we went to work, we could buy groceries, and we we done our own cooking. We, did, did some people live here in tents? Yes. The bed at the back. We several people lived uh, just across the road from where we moved in. There were several people in tents. In fact, is about everybody that was here lived in tents. There was very few houses in the. But uh, our little home was, as I said, one room. We had a bed in there, and we cooked and ate. And husband and I slept in there, and we had a little cover over some poles at the back of the house that the older children slept in. That was our first, about the first month of our abode here in California. But it was warm weather, and uh, we depended on the Lord for our help, and uh, we was real happy with it. The boy was already here, and he had a good, had a job, and uh, of we all made it pretty, pretty well, we thought. We got along pretty good. Your daughter, you, your daughter has told me that you had, you often had to do some nursing. Well, at that time, we were church workers. I was a minister and husband was a singer. And some of our mothers in the church that had their babies, they, uh, they preferred not to have a doctor. And I was not a midwife by uh, 
knowledge, any more paper knowledge, you could say. I just knew what I had learned during my past about this, and when the time arrived and they had no doctor, I delivered and taken care of the babies.